Hello YouTubers, subscribers and friends, welcome to my channel. It is 70 degrees right now. We are in town. My wife wants to take my son to the doctor. It says urgent care right there. Something wrong with his belly button. He's got some kind of rash or something inside his belly button and my wife wants to take him in there and find out what it is, get some kind of ointment for him. We went to the regular doctor's office that we normally go to and it's gone. The whole it's like a shopping center like this. The whole shopping center is completely empty. No doctor's office, no nothing. It's crazy, man. Look at that truck right there. It's a nice looking truck. So, I don't know what the plan is for the rest of the day. I'm going to get out here and walk around the parking lot and get some exercise. So, while they're over there in the urgent care, I just told my wife, I'm going to go for a walk. Just text me when you guys are ready to leave and I'll come back. The park that I usually walk at is across the street over there. I'm going to walk down this way a little bit. Get my exercise in for the day. I have no idea what the rest of the day is going to uh, go on. So I have no plans for today whatsoever for anything. Some nice looking barrel cactuses. This little flower. It's an apartment complex. I never knew there was an apartment complex right here. These are, I don't know what kind of barrel cactuses these are called. They look pretty cool though. It's a bike path. Across over there is where I found them homeless people sleeping under the, the bridge. That's the golf course way over there. I wonder why they have these uh, cones here. Let's go walk to that bridge. So instead of waiting around in the waiting room of the doctor's office that I don't like being in, I'm just taking a 20 minute walk so far. Beautiful day for a walk. Almost to the bridge. I can't even believe I've been out walking for 20 minutes already. Time just flies by when you go for walks. I think this is what they call mosaic art. It's got broken glass, different colors of broken glass. Is that Mountain Dew? I like these bridges, these bridges are cool. I like this rustic iron look. I don't have my hiking shoes on, but uh, I think I'm going to walk back that way. If this weather could stay like this all the time, I would love it, man. 70 degree temperatures. That's some Barrel Peak right there. A lot of people on bicycles out today. All right, I'm gonna head back. I don't think it should take too long for the doctor to look at his belly button. It's an orange tree right there. It's either an orange tree or a grapefruit tree. Maybe an apple tree? I don't know. It's a big tree though. What kind of tree is that, Michael Anderson? All these flowers in this wash here. over this wash. I don't know what those things are called. Dandelions? I don't know. I'm not a flower expert. But here's more different color ones here. All kinds of flowers. 
right, I'm gonna jump over this wall. That's a different kind of hike for me today. Look at these little bushes. Lavender, $29.99. Good. Nice little plants. More flowers. What is this? Geranium plants. People are looking at me all crazy, like, what is he doing? You ain't never seen plants before? Alright, so... That's about a uh, 35 minute walk. I'm almost back to the urgent care. People are always saying, I, I don't got time to go out and exercise and get my walks in. See? I could have sat for 35 minutes in the waiting room in the doctor's office. I have no need to be in the doctor's office for. Or I could just take that time like I did and go out and get me some exercise. Get my walk in for the day. And not interfere with what my family's doing. So this is fast med urgent care. I don't think so. It took me 35 minutes to do my walk. I went inside there. They still haven't called them. They're the only ones in there. There's nobody else in this urgent care at all. Nobody. Just my family. I asked my wife, what are they waiting on? It says urgent. Uh, that's the way it is in the doctor's office. Hurry up and waste my time. That's why I don't like going to the doctors. I'm going to go to this apartment complex. I'm just curious what it costs to rent apartments nowadays. I have no clue. I got nothing else to do, right? I'm not going to sit in that doctor's office. That will drive me nuts. All right, so I we got at the doctor's office. It was at 11, I mean 10:25. I started my walk at 10:30. It's 11:10 now, and they still haven't been seen in that doctor's office. So let's go see what apartments cost over here. It's a waterfall right there. Fitness room area here. This looks like fun. Cable crossovers, big balls. They have a, uh, a buffet section here also. I'm like dealing with somebody else right now. We got free movie rental. You come in, you can check out movies for free. They got a swimming pool out there that's getting some work done on it. Got an internet room here. Watch TV if you want. Some nice, cool looking art. I like this table though, this is nice. Nice wooden table. Smells good in there too. Maximum occupancy, 27. Yeah, that's easy to say. Yeah, oh, they got some beautiful flowers here. He's in there. He's pretty busy with the client in there. And uh, let's see what time it is now. It is 11:15, and this is crazy. Uh, I don't. I haven't even looked at what the layout is, but. They charge you an HOA fee of $12. Is that crazy? You don't own the apartment. You're just renting it. There's a $50 application fee per person. So, be $50 for me, my wife, my son, and my daughter. That's $200 right there. At $125 administration fee. So, that's just just the application fee that's two hundred dollars and then 125 administration fee that's three hundred twenty five dollars 
refundable deposit of $150 on approved credit. Pet policy, $250 per pet. You gotta charge $30 a month rent for one pet, $50 if you got two pets a month. So that's, they hit you for $50 if you got two pets. If you want a three bedroom on the first floor, it's $1,275 to $1,345. Or if you want it on the second floor, $1,345 to $1,415. This is called the Springs. This is in the northwest part of Tucson. How many square feet is that? Three bed or two bath, 1,298 square feet. Three bed or two bath on the uh, second floor, 1,393 square feet. That's crazy, man. Just, just alone, the HOA fee of $12 would make me not want to rent this place at all. I don't own this freaking apartment. $12 HOA fee? They're crazy, mama. Mama, these people are crazy. This is the first floor layout. You got the front door there. It looks like the front door goes into the bedroom. Oh, here's the front door right here. I guess you got a, a patio for the bedroom there and a patio for the bedroom there. There's one, two, the living room. The kitchen's in the center, the dining room. You got a back patio and the master bedroom with the bath. And this is the center bathroom for the two bedrooms. That's for the first floor layout. That's the name of that bedroom layout. This layout looks exactly the same. Don't look anything different. Maybe a little bit smaller. The Morocco layout. Maybe it looks different on the inside. I don't know. I don't plan on going and looking what the inside looks like, but that's crazy. An HOA fee for renting an apartment? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and see if they're done. Okay, I didn't see them inside. There's nobody in there, so I guess the doctors took them in the back, but uh this is crazy, man. You're gonna spend $50 if you got two pets. $30, you gotta pay the rent. The pet has to pay rent. It's a $250 pet fee, $150 pet deposit. And if you got a dog or a cat, it's gonna cost you $30 a month just in rent right there. Monthly fees for water and trash sewer. So you got the $12 of the HOA. You got a three bedroom, they charge you $55 for water, trash, and sewer. That's how much I pay for my water where I live. I pay about 55 bucks a month. I got a family of four. I don't have an HOA fee in my house. And I don't have to pay rent for my animals. I'm not looking to rent an apartment. I'm just seeing what's the rent like nowadays. Now let's see. Let's see what a freaking one-bedroom apartment costs. One bedroom starts at $1,049 for a 907 square foot. One bedroom, one bath at 712 square foot is $899 to $969. The Casa Blanca, one bedroom, one bath, 798 square. These are these are small freaking apartments. 939 to 1,009. So there's not really that much difference. And if you're going to just get a one bedroom, one bath, jumping up to a three bedroom, right here, right? It's like, you know, $1,500 a month, maybe. This one's like $1,000 a month. That's including like pet fees and everything like that. AOA, the HOA fees. This is crazy. How are people, how are people affording this kind of monthly rent for something that you're never going to own? This kills me right here. The HOA fee of $12 for an apartment? Crazy, man. I won't rent this place. That's for sure. I didn't cover the two bedrooms. Two bedroom, two bath, 1,000 square feet is 1,075 to 1,145. Two bedroom, two bath, 1,175 square feet, 1,160 to 1,230. And the three bedrooms aren't that much bigger for such an increase in price. Here's another thing I didn't look at. Renter's insurance required $100,000 personal liability. 
Man, the kind of money you got to fork out for this stupid thing per month, you could go out and get you, because the only way they're going to rent you an apartment is on approved credit. If you got bad credit, you're not going to be able to rent an apartment. You got to have good credit. So you might as well take your good credit, go to the bank, get you a mortgage loan, because your mortgage is going to be cheaper than $1,500 a month, seriously. Right? And if you gotta have you gotta have renters insurance, a hundred thousand dollars personal liability, you might as well just own your own home, cause you gotta get insurance on your own home. And if you live out out in the country or find a subdivision that doesn't require an HOA fee, then you you get away with doing having to pay that crap. You definitely don't have to pay rent on pets if you own your own home, right? Oh, if you want a detached garage, a ten by fifteen, that's an extra ninety five dollars a month also. Then here's the fine print if you guys want to pause it and if you can read that, I can't even read that myself. The fine print or whatever that garbage is down there. Because they can say whatever they want up here. This is all crap, doesn't mean anything. This is what, what you really need to read is this fine print on any kind of important document. Always read the fine print. Alright, let me see how much time I've killed. It is 11.25, so we've been here an hour. And I've done a 40 a 35 minute walk. I went and looked at an apartment complex and they're still not done with the doctor's office. Going to the doctor's a waste of time if you ask me, right bats? Right. Waste of time. So almost 12 o'clock they finally came out of the doctor's office, told her to put some neosporin on his belly button. They don't know what's going on with him. They told my wife, take him to a regular doctor. When we did, the regular doctor's office was shut down that we usually go to. So, pretty much, if you ask me, that was a wasted hour and a half. I told him to go get some Neosporin and put it on the rash. We're done with Walmart. It's been an hour and a half there. Gas is $2.51. Uh, look at the mountains. It's 77 degrees out right now, even though they said high today was 76. We're going to go have lunch right now. The Mod Pizza. As soon as I pump gas. Look at this guy's art. He does steel. And the wind is blowing right now like crazy too. Every time I drive by this, it's like cool. to Mod's Pizza, but I wanted to get this art here. Gigantic Indian Chief. Oh. Big, gigantic Indian Chief. That thing's like about 15 feet tall. Cool. And the wind is blowing like crazy. His name is BruceButter.com. BruceButter.com. I'm gonna have to check that out. That's how we deal with spiders in my house. <laughs> right here. That lady's laughing at me. It's that time of the year. I'm gonna have to start spraying. Well, time to go get some mud pizza now. I've got Alfredo. pineapple, sausage, chili peppers, chicken. Alfredo sauce. Bacon and Alfredo sauce. Yep. Pepperoni pizza. What is that? Sausage or beef? Sausage and pepperoni. That's my daughter's. I got spicy Italian sausage, regular sausage, beef, bacon, onions, mushrooms, and blue cheese. Delicious. And my blue by blueberry. All right. Now we're at Tuesday morning to get our gourmet peanuts. Look at this day. It's nice. This is the first song I sang to my wife when we were dating. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away.
and she fell in love with me. Right, babe? She said, yeah. Thought for sure my wife would buy this one. Mixed spices with lemongrass, chili, and ginger. She doesn't want it. Looks like a seagull flying over there. Took off. Man, it's a nice day out right now. Yeah, you said it's supposed to rain in there, right? Beautiful. I wish the weather was like this all the time. Well, that's going to be the video for us today. We're going to start heading home. It was a uh, nice day. Want to wish Faith at Abstract Possibilities a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Faith. Happy birthday to you. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button. Don't cause anything. It's free. And we're gone. I'm testing out a new uh, moto vlog for Reggie with 2G since he's got a broken cervix. It's 360 vlogs. Woohoo! Oh! Oh! <laughs>